Eyewitness News first broadcast Makulin Chavene Mukawili's water challenges, the Bemba District Municipality almost immediately came to a home here in DDD and installed a water tanker. She says the Georgia tank has helped her a lot, but only when there is water flowing from the Nandoni Dam. That means if the area does not have water, she also has none to fill the tank. Ah, lelo dua lina madia dan dia wana. Hmm, ada baru wa, ada baru wa, sanggolot deh, wa tinggal wa ni tu. Muli caya endok dibo, nanti wa nanti biri kan. Azan, mau push, kita dah baderi wa. Di day wa nayo badera mau push, dah badera mau biri. Kuni dah dila, dia di dorang. Eh. Iko wali wandi buka ya pabrik. Uji dorang kan amu diri rumah muda gasi ni ni zat. Anak ni aku kosong kotor. Ushuma mara, tiada ushuma. Makulu Mukawuru expressed her gratitude to Eyewitness News for broadcasting her living conditions. She now has a tanker which she could rely on, but only when there's water flowing into it. She has also received two wheelchairs from the district municipality, but still faces challenges to get by. She says she is now old and frail and cannot draw herself anywhere. The 91-year-old says she would rather crawl. We followed her into her bedroom, but this is no ordinary bedroom. It has no bed. An old carpet and some light blankets are the only things separating her from the cold concrete floor. Meanwhile, the water crisis in the area remains a concern, with residents accusing government of overlooking the area. Definitely, is, it, it has been a, a crisis. You know, so we have been going up and down, trying, trying to tell them, trying to, 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 to show them how the, 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 the community uh, is struggling. So, but at, uh, up to now, there is no change. We have, we have been going up and down with, with them. We have been we, we having meetings with, 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 with the relevant structures, whoever, but up, up to now there is no change. The Limpopo government says it has found investments into the province, which will also address the water crisis. That project is going to be very massive. One is going to make the issue of accessibility of water. Uh, to those areas because that that kind of investment will need water. It's a big development which will need a lot of water. And once it needs a lot of water, it means the local communities are also going to benefit out of that because the strategy that we have developed in this province is that when you develop a big uh, uh, economic uh, venture such as that one, it must actually also benefit the people and the, the, the local communities. There's still no water flowing through taps here in DDD, despite the area being surrounded by the Nandoni Dam, which is full to capacity. The Vembe District Municipality has not done good on its promise to deliver water through water tankers here in the area, despite having made that assurance to Eyewitness News seven months ago. Residents here now say the water crisis in the area should be dealt with urgently so that their plight could be realized. Pelana Pakhadi, Eyewitness News, DDD, outside Toyando, in Limpopo.